Right ventricle, deoxygenated still. Now what? Not aortic. Pulmonary cylinder valve. How do you do the pulmonary arteries? Pulmonary trunk first, then right and left. Doesn't matter. The, the one's just going to go one way. So if it goes through the inferior, it goes straight to the ventricle. If it goes to the inferior vena cava, it comes into the right atrium. If it goes to the superior vena cava, it comes into the right atrium. And if you could turn that heart around, they come into the same hole. <coughs> it's like two tubes with the same entrance. This one just came from the lower half of the body, and this one came from the other. In the same spot. Okay? So right atrium, tricuspid valve, pulmonary cylinder valve, pulmonary trunk, because you got, got to say, you probably should say all the parts. Now, pulmonary arteries, which way it goes is totally random. Somebody's going to go left, somebody's going to go right. You got two lungs, right? It's just pressure. When there's so much blood in there, all of it can't go one way. It's just going to get pressed out of each way. What about if you're lying down in, like, on your side? It doesn't matter. If you're lying down, standing on your head, it's still, there's an amount of pressure in there. And if I send an amount of liquid up a pipe, and you can go right or left, it's just random, right? You're a slitter bond, you're on the little thing, and it takes a fork, you don't know which way. <laughs> you just hit the middle and you go one way or the other. There's a bunch of people there with you, it's going to force you one way or the other. So, pulmonary, pulmonary uh, arteries, you're going away from the heart. What's next? Lungs. Right lung, left lung. How do you get back? Either left or right, doesn't matter. They go to the same spot. Where do all the right pulmonary veins and all the left pulmonary veins enter? The left atrium. So we're in here now. Oxygenated or deoxygenated? Oxygenated. What's next? You can say bicuspid. You can say mitral. You can say left AV. You can say left AV. What's next? Left ventricle. What's next? Aortic. Semilunar valve pops open and you end up in the aorta. And then you go wherever you want to go. It said to the if it says the right side of the brain, you go right to the palate. If it said left side of the brain, you go left to common karate. If it said left shoulder, you go left side of the brain. That's all coming when we do ours and brain. You can do that over and over and over again. It doesn't matter where you come from. you got to do the same steps. It does never change. No change. Unless you've got a fossil ballast that works. And this is the human heart as well. We don't have So you can look at that all you want. There's going to be some questions on about what we would see next. When you're how long does it take for the blood that's going through my heart right now to come back to you? One minute. That's all coming. That's cool stuff. Oh, yeah, got me. This is to show you how you cannot get confused. And I had some crazy people in my lab cut the heart that way. The lab book showed them to do it this way, and they wiped it right in half. <laughs> it was this summer. What do you got? Hey, what are you doing? They had like, oh, does it look cool? Look, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nice go, yeah. Left side of the heart, right side of the heart. That's all I can tell with that because you screwed up, right? <laughs> unless, you, unless you came right through and hit the valve. You need to cut it frontally, not transversely. The book said, lab book says that. I got carried away. Same thing, left, right. Okay, change gears. And this is coronary circulation. The good thing about it is there's not much. The bad thing about it is you have a heart attack, there's not much. So if you have blockage right there, give me your stuff. Hope you got a boat. Look, I got I, I never have enough boats. I'm making I just got a good guy, I got collections. If you don't borrow, I'll take you, I'm the captain. How many tribes have you? Alright. One, two, that's it. So if you're feeding the heart, you've got two choices. Left coronary or right coronary. If you've got left coronary stenosis, left coronary artery disease, left coronary artery plaque, left coronary cholesterol, you better get it fixed. If I want to have a heart attack, okay. If i got to pick somewhere, I don't want one, period, but let's block off there. That person doesn't even know it. You know, I'm sure everybody that's 80, 90 years old has had some kind of heart attack there. They don't, they don't know it. But if you have one here, this is where you have triple bypass. When you have double bypass, all these bypasses you're talking about, they're talking about here. They cut and they take a another artery from your leg or vein, actually, and they sew it down over the clot. Let's say the clot is right here. They put it extend from there to there and they're done. It's not even that complicated. I don't know how it stays. 
I saw that, I'm like, that's what you're going to do? I didn't tell the guy that. <laughs> that, that guy's going to wake up tomorrow with that? He just sewed a little vein. I think it was down here. He sewed it from the cut right there. He sewed the vein in. The clock was right here, the, the narrow area, and sewed it on the other side of it. Done. And what happens to the clock? Doesn't work, doesn't need to work, right? But it's bypassed. So if it's clotted right there, completely occluded, right? All this part of your heart's gonna die unless you hurry up and do something. Right? When they do the cardio cap, are they into those things? Yeah. And they fall as crazy. They go? All over. They can stick it in your leg. No one, yeah, when they when they do that, but they're into those arteries. They right right down in one picture and the guy's laying there awake. I'm like, oh man, is that I'm yeah, talking to kind of grow down. <laughs> yeah, no, no. The guy was sitting there looking at the screen and things running through there, my like, clothes oh, <laughs> they make them feel pretty good. Yeah. There's all kinds of things they can do now. They can stick a little piece of wire in here. I've got one. It's a cool little, it looks like a, one of those things you put your finger in and you can't get it down. Uh, Chinese finger trap. Yeah, you, it looks like a metal one of those. Let's say it's caught it right here. It's all the way. They can stick it up there and open it up. It runs up. All kind of cool stuff. You don't need to know anything, you know the names. All right, here we go. Let's talk about left first. Your left coronary comes from where? Where does it come from? The aorta. So from the aorta, the left coronary comes off, and it, it only stays the left coronary for a little distance. And people miss this on the lab test because in the heart models, you can't move stuff out of the way. But you'll notice it only goes for a little ways, and as soon as it forks, branches, it changes names. And it changes names into the circumflex and the anterior interventricular. It's the same artery, chest little narrower, and branch. It's the same too, same buzz point. Now, this is why we talked earlier about the anterior interventricular sulcus, because that vessel is laid down in that sulcus. So it gets it out, it gets it out of the top, away from the top of the heart, so it's not pressed on. It's got its own little groove it fits in. So this picture is really not very accurate. Circumflex goes on around to the backside, 